you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you all of the homeschool supplies that I got for our upcoming homeschooling year and if you guys are interested in seeing all of the school supplies that I got for our upcoming school year from Target Amazon and from Dollar Tree then go ahead and stay tuned for today's video so if any of you guys are new again to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I have a nine, three and a one year old. They're all girls and we're going into our second year of homeschooling. I am really excited because I have a fourth grader and I have a preschooler. So I did have to get some things for Leia, who is my three year old. And I'm so excited about all the school supplies that I got. So since we're already talking about Leia, let's go ahead and show you guys some of the school supplies that I got for her. So I got her some dot to dot markers. You guys, I know you already know about these. If you don't, go ahead and get on them. These things are amazing. I love these dot to dot markers. We already dabbled into them. And I love all the things you can do with them. You can find so many free printables with the dot to dot markers. They are just really, the mess is very much contained when you use these. So I definitely love using these dot to dot markers. I also got Leia some Melissa and Doug Jumbo Triangular crayons i'm really excited for her to continue to use these i love when she uses these crayons because she can throw these on the floor they don't break as easily as the regular crayons she's still three she's still a kid and i definitely want to get my value and my money's worth and these are definitely a must-have if you have any type of a toddler who you're teaching how to um use their fine motor skills especially when they're picking up things the triangular shape allows it to be easier for them to grip it in their hand with their coloring so i definitely love these Melissa and Doug jumbo triangular crayons I actually got these ones for free you guys from our library they was giving out school supplies so I'm definitely I definitely was blessed when it came to that I didn't have to purchase these now another thing that um, I did get from Leia from the Target dollar spot was these alphabet construction activity this activity you can actually construct your uppercase lowercase and you can construct numbers I thought this was an excellent value especially because this was only three dollars I also got her some wooden clips too that can help her with letter recognition I feel like I can use these two little um, activities to do so many different things with her and also too I have Alana who's my one-year-old I might be using these the following year so I definitely feel like I'm going to get my money's worth when it comes to this alphabet construction activity and then also these wooden clips now for Leia too when I was at the Target dollar spot they had so many different types of flashcards so I went ahead and I picked up these addition flashcards even though I know she's probably not gonna be ready for these anytime soon but they were there they were a dollar I thought they were cute I really loved how it included like the little reveal case where you put the flashcards and you can pull it out and I love that about it and when Target has these flashcards there for a dollar I would just say grab them even if you don't need them at that time just grab them they're only a but I went ahead and I also grabbed this preschool Crayola animal flashcards you guys and I'm not gonna lie I was pretty disappointed when I opened them up once I got it home because Target had some animal flashcards the year before that shows like the real life animal in the flashcard and I like the way it, it shows them the animal in real life versus the cartoony form I feel like either way it goes they will be able to understand you know what a cow is what a lion is but I do like them seeing the real life animal image of it so these were only a dollar I might find it might find our way into our homeschool roundup and things like that because it dish it does show different animals that we don't have but I do prefer the real life animals so yeah now as far as Brielle for just regular school supplies you guys I went ahead and I got the basics I got her the thin markers the thick markers I got her color pencils and crayons you guys this year I got a little bit extra because last year I did not get enough art supplies for Brielle I did not realize how much crayons and color pencils and markers we would go throughout the course of just one semester so this year you guys I definitely got extra and hopefully I got enough to get us through this school year if not Target I will be back to you <laughs> so yeah now another thing that I did get for our school supply was I went ahead and got some scissors. I got some um, scissors for Brielle and I also picked up some scissors for Leia. Leia has definitely shown an interest in cutting but I don't really feel comfortable with her using the kids scissors just yet so I got her these preschool ones. Hopefully she can get her fine motor skills going and she'll be able to start cutting really really good. So yeah I got these for them. 
Now I also got some glue sticks because you can never run out of it. And I just got the Target brand because honestly, I really don't see a difference. And these was only 25 cents. So I got a whole lot of glue sticks. And I went ahead and I also got some Expo Ultra Fine Tip um, dry erase markers just because I use these, um, here they go. I use these dry erase pockets for like our dry erase board when we do need to write things down for like math and for English, just whatever we're doing, I use these. I don't have like a big homeschool space or a homeschool room. I really utilize my downstairs area and I like to keep things compact and confined. So I really love these dry erase pockets. You can put so many different sheets in and reuse them. And I like using the fine tip ones on it instead of just the regular ones because you're able to write a lot more on these little pockets. So yeah, that is another thing that I got. I also got a whole bunch of composition books. If you guys are new here to my channel, you do not know how much I love and I use these composition books. Me and Brielle, we made I think about four or five interactive composition books last year. We made a government one. We made one for her state unit study that she did. We made one for her daily journal for her creative writing and I definitely love these. I utilize these a lot and hopefully I got enough for Brielle. So I'm so excited to continue to use these composition notebooks. They're cheap I love them they're contained and then at the end of the year you guys you have a beautiful composition book with all of your kids work and you definitely are going to want to hold on to those memories so I am so excited to use these again now I went ahead and I got another um, two inch um, binder for Brielle because this homeschooling year I went ahead and I found a way some of her core work inside of this um, folder with some sheet protectors and I live in the state of Georgia you guys and honestly our state laws does not require us to keep any of our kids work or anything like that however laws are ever changing and I definitely want to keep something to document our third grade year so I went ahead and I used this folder to put our declaration of intent I put Brielle's test scores in here because we do have to test here in the state of Georgia every three years and she just so happened to fall in the first year of testing so I put her test scores in here. I put examples of her math, language arts, science, government, social studies, her state study. So all those different things I went ahead and I used this binder for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with her fourth grade year binder just to store a few pieces. And I like that it's just compact, it's simple, and it's gonna keep me in check when it comes to all the things that I do wanna keep. I can't keep everything. So hopefully I can keep all of like her art and things like that that she feels important in this little binder. Now I went ahead and I got these two bins from the Target Dollar Spot. They were $3 each because I wanna do some more like sensory type of bins for my younger daughters, for my three and my one year old. So I picked up these bins for both of them and I also picked up some kinetic sand for them. Now you guys, when you see this kinetic sand, especially during the holiday time at Walmart, it's normally like in between four and six dollars just grab it, grab a whole lot of it. I wish I would have grabbed more because I paid 13 bucks for this one little package when I know during holiday time, you can get it for much, much cheaper. So I got this so I can do start off with some like sensory bin activities with them, but definitely when Christmas time comes, I'm gonna stock up on like more of the colors and things like that. So hopefully this can just get us through December because I do not wanna spend 13 bucks for just some more sand, so yeah. <laughs> Now you guys, I also went ahead and I got some more pencil boxes just because I love these pencil boxes. I do have like this cute little aesthetically pleasing uh, basket box with all their pencils. You guys, it did not work. And I love keeping things contained, especially because I have two toddlers that love to get in everything. And these pencil boxes have definitely been in key. They cannot open these up just yet so hopefully i can still get some good use by putting some of our smaller items in these cheap you know pencil boxes so yeah now i'm gonna go on to some of the stuff that i got for brielle from amazon now we are going to be doing a new math this year we're going to be doing singapore dimensions math and with singapore dimensions they do want you to use a lot of math manipulatives so you can show them like the concrete form of the problems that you're solving so i went ahead and i got her some place value disc and i also got her this 
place value flip chart. Now, I honestly feel like I probably could have just got away with just getting the disc versus the chart, but I just wanted to have both because our first lesson we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be talking about place value to a million. So I definitely am excited to be able to have these things so Brielle can get more of a hands-on sense of math and hopefully these concepts will be, able, will be able to stick better than her trying to memorize them because she'll be able to see things in like the concrete form. I also got this um, equivalency, equivalency, <laughs> you guys, equivalency. There we go. <laughs> um, cube fraction tower because we are going to be talking about fractions and decimals this year. Now this tower actually talks about fractions, decimals, and percentages. And I definitely love this because we're gonna be able to carry this on into the fifth grade when we start talking about percentages and decimals and how they relate. So I'm really happy to have this because I feel like I'm gonna be able to use this one for a while. Now last year when we started talking about fractions, I did get this simple fraction tower one from Amazon and I got this one by mistake because honestly if you're going to get it I would suggest getting this learning resources one because again it does have the percentage fractions and decimals and you can um, break apart these cubes and see how they all relate together versus just having one for fractions so I'm so excited to be able to have these math man manipulatives and Hopefully Brielle will have a better experience when it comes to math this year. She's really good at math, you guys. She just likes to memorize things and she needs to learn with math. Not everything you can memorize the steps, you really have to understand those concepts and they really have to be like concrete and instilled, so yeah. Now something else that I did get from Amazon was I went ahead and picked up some oil pastels for Brielle because she is going to be doing the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts again and in, in the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts she is going to be doing art and with the four, level four language arts they're going to be using oil pastels. So I'm really excited for Brielle to start off using these oil pastels. They do have a longer list of other art supplies and things like that that I'm going to need but I've seen the first couple of things I'm going to need which is going to be the oil pastels so that I went ahead and I ordered these first so hopefully she enjoys learning a different form of art and a different technique you guys I'm definitely going to do this with her because I'm excited to learn how to use these oil pastels as well now the last thing that I have to show you guys is for my daughter Brielle you guys our first year of homeschooling my daughter definitely was a champ she definitely you know stuck it out through our hard days and she definitely pushed herself when I knew she was tired and she definitely you know I really feel like this year I want to set the table and I want to give her a really cute surprise so you guys, I went to the Dollar Tree and I put together this cute little basket that I'm gonna set on the table for her first day of homeschooling. Brielle loves creative writing, so I got her this cute little fluffy pen and I got her her brand new composition book for this upcoming school year that says, do your thing. Because that's what I want Brielle to do. I want her to do her thing. I want her to enjoy and continue to have fun writing her short stories. I also got her another like little journal for her to like, um, doodle on and also too Brielle loves checklists at the end of the school year I started to just use a little notebook to make checklists for her of things that we're going to be doing so I might use this one to show her hey this is what we're going to be doing today and allow her to check it off she definitely enjoyed that as well or she can just doodle or do whatever she wants to do in this one I got her some more like mini composition notebooks and I got her a plethora of stickers just because Brielle loves stickers so much I never knew just how much putting a sticker on her math page or her language arts page will bring her joy and anything that I can do that can bring my baby girl some joy in our school day I'm definitely going to do it especially something as simple as putting a sticker on her paper telling her she did a great job and letting her feel happy about her you know accomplishment that she did for that day so I hope she will enjoy seeing this cute little basket that I put together on our first day of homeschooling and yeah so you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy seeing all of the school supplies that I got for our upcoming school year. I'm very excited, you guys. I'm very nervous, but I'm really hoping and praying we do have a good school year coming up. So as always, you guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see everybody in my next one. Bye.